something big just happened in the AI world. Google's new Gemini 3 is no ordinary update. It's a complete shift in how artificial intelligence thinks, works, and creates. Imagine an AI that can code, draw, and even reason like a human, all at lightning speed. From secret internal tests to shocking open source rivals, the AI race is heating up faster than anyone expected. This week, the entire AI community felt a jolt. While everyone was focused on OpenAI's next big thing, Google quietly began testing its new Gemini 3 model behind closed doors. It wasn't officially announced, but developers inside Google's AI studio started noticing clues. References to something called Gemini Beta 3.0 Pro appearing in the back end. That's how people knew. Google's next generation model is real, and it's already being benchmarked internally. Now, the timing is interesting. Google's been preparing for its upcoming Gemini at Work livestream, and insiders believe that's when Gemini 3 will finally make its public debut. But here's what's getting everyone excited. The early testers say this new model isn't just smarter, it's faster, more creative, and far more human-like in how it thinks. One developer ran a simple test. They asked Gemini 3 to generate an SVG drawing of a PlayStation 4 controller, down to the exact curves and buttons. Within seconds, it produced a perfect digital sketch with almost no errors. That might sound small, but it's a huge leap. We're no longer talking about text-based reasoning or chatbot conversations. This is visual precision, real design understanding, and it hints at how far multimodal AI has come. And when stacked against Anthropic, Claude 4.5 Sonnet, Gemini 3 didn't just keep up, it beat it. The model generated cleaner, more accurate outputs at a noticeably higher speed. That shows Google has been quietly tuning this model for serious front-end work. It's not just about writing code, it's about creating things, app, layouts, designs, like a professional developer would. Inside AI Studio, users have started noticing new interface changes too. A new tab labeled My Stuff appeared. It acts as a personal library where all your generated images, code snippets, and assets are saved automatically. That might sound like a small addition, but it signals something bigger. Google's transforming its AI tools into a complete creative workspace where every project and file is connected. Now, Gemini 3 isn't just one model. There are actually two main versions under testing, Gemini 3 Pro and Gemini 3 Flash. Pro is built for deep reasoning, long conversations, and complex problem solving. Flash, on the other hand, is designed for pure speed, real-time responses for live applications. Together, they cover both high-end professional users and those who need instant AI performance. Developers have also discovered references to something called DeepThink and Agent Mode buried in Google's internal code. DeepThink seems to be Google's new multi-step reasoning engine, kind of like a built-in chain of thought system that lets the model remember and connect ideas across long sessions. Agent mode, though, is where things get wild. It's designed for direct browser control, meaning Gemini 3 could actually perform tasks online, like researching data, filling forms, or managing tools, all by itself. That's Google's version of autonomous AI agents, the same direction OpenAI is moving toward with its agent kit. But unlike previous models, Gemini 3 might not just assist, it could act. Google's rollout strategy for Gemini 3 is as strategic as the model itself. Instead of dropping it all at once, the company plans to release it in phases, carefully testing each version before it reaches the public. Enterprise users will get early access first through Vertex AI, which lets big companies experiment with the technology in real-world environments. Then, between November and December, developers using Google Cloud will get their turn. Finally, by early 2026, Gemini 3 will reach everyday users through Android 17, Google Search, Chrome, and Workspace. And this time, Google seems ready to execute. Gemini 3 has been redesigned to work as part of a unified system, not just a standalone AI model. It's integrated deeply with Google's tools, meaning your documents, emails, and calendar could all communicate with each other through AI reasoning. Need to write a report? Gemini can pull data from your sheets, summarize your emails, and design a presentation, all in one workflow. That's the kind of seamless intelligence users have been waiting for. But while Google fine-tunes its multimodal powerhouse, something unexpected happened in the open source world. Out of nowhere, a developer released a model called OVI, short for Open Source V3. It's a small 12.25 billion parameter model, but what it does is incredible. OVI turns text into five-second talking videos with perfectly synced audio. 
That means if you type a sentence like, hello everyone, welcome to the show, the AI doesn't just read it, it creates a realistic digital person, animates their face, and makes them say it out loud. The lip syncing is impressively accurate, and the character movements look surprisingly natural for a model that runs completely on local hardware. The model is built on a diffusion-based text-to-video system, similar to how Google's VO or OpenAI's Sora work. But the key difference is accessibility. While those models need high-end servers, OVI can run locally using Comfy UI, a popular workflow tool among AI creators. The entire process happens on your own computer, no cloud access required. Setting it up isn't too complicated either. You install Comfy UI, clone the OVI GitHub repository, and download the required model weights. Once it's connected, you simply input your script, wrap the spoken parts between S and E, and hit generate. In about two minutes, the model outputs a short five-second video, complete with synchronized sound. Now, there are limitations. You can't yet pick a specific voice, the tone might vary between clips, and videos can't exceed five seconds. But for an open-source model that runs locally, it's a huge step forward. People have already started using it to create mini-animations, product demos, and even short film scenes, all without touching professional software. It's early, experimental, and far from perfect, but OVI represents something bigger, the beginning of open source video generation. For the first time, independent creators have a tool that combines both video and audio production in a single model. No massive GPUs or paid subscriptions needed. Next, we'll dive deeper into how OpenAI responded to all this innovation. Not with a new model, but with a shocking study about which human jobs might soon disappear because of AI. OpenAI's new study, titled Measuring the Performance of Our Models on Real-World Tasks, sent shock waves across every industry. The company tested AI systems against humans across nine major U.S. sectors to see who performs better. The results were both fascinating and alarming. AI matched or outperformed humans in about 48% of the tests. Jobs that rely on repetition and data handling were hit hardest. Counter clerks, retail workers, and sales managers lost to AI in more than 80% of cases. Even creative roles weren't safe. Editors, developers, and private investigators saw AI surpass them nearly 70% of the time. What's more surprising is that even social work, something deeply human, was nearly split down the middle. AI matched humans in empathy-based conversations far more often than experts expected. However, there's still hope for roles rooted in leadership, creativity, and emotion. Film directors, journalists, and producers continue to outperform AI in two-thirds of cases. It turns out that storytelling, vision, and human intuition remain difficult for machines to replicate. But the message is clear. The gap is closing fast. In a recent interview, Sam Altman even admitted that AI could one day replace his own role as CEO. He said that if a model could lead OpenAI better than he could, he'd welcome it. But others like IBM's Arvind Krishna disagree, believing that AI will assist humans, not replace them entirely. Either way, one thing is certain. We've entered a new era. From Google's Gemini 3 reshaping creativity to open source models like OVI bringing video generation to everyone. AI isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. The future of AI is being written right now, and each breakthrough pushes the limits of what's possible. So, what do you think? Are we heading toward a world ruled by machines, or one empowered by them? Let's talk about it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology.